Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, a guided missile destroyer frigate commissioned by the Philippine Navy, represents one of the most advanced warships in Southeast Asia as it sails into 2026. This ship is not just a tool of maritime defense but a symbol of the Philippines' growing commitment to protecting its waters and asserting its presence in the West Philippine Sea and beyond. When people hear, destroyer, they often imagine a massive warship bristling with weapons, radar systems, and advanced technologies, and in many ways the Antonio Luna embodies that image while balancing cutting-edge features with a practical design suited for regional security needs. To truly understand what makes this vessel so important, it's worth diving into its design, performance, weaponry, and the role it plays in the broader context of naval operations. At its core, the BRP Antonio Luna is part of the Jose Rizal class, which is derived from the South Korean HDF-2600 platform designed by Hyundai Heavy Industries. Measuring about 107 meters in length and displacing around 2,600 tons, this ship falls within the smaller range of modern surface combatants. While it may not match the raw size and firepower of larger destroyers fielded by major navies like the US or Japan, its compactness is intentional, offering speed, flexibility, and cost-effectiveness. This is important because the Philippine Navy, though modernizing rapidly, is still transitioning from older patrol craft and needs vessels that can bridge the gap between affordability and advanced capability. The Antonio Luna is a showcase of how smaller navies can gain access to modern defense technology without overextending resources. From a performance perspective, the ship is powered by a combined diesel and diesel propulsion system, or CODAD for short, which allows for efficient cruising and the ability to reach top speeds of around 25 knots. This balance of speed and endurance makes it ideal for patrolling the vast stretches of Philippine maritime territory. Its operational range of over 4,000 nautical miles means it can operate not just within coastal zones but also in blue water missions, enhancing the Philippines' ability to project presence in contested waters. For layman's terms, think of this as having the ability to cruise for weeks without the need to refuel, which is essential for long patrols and joint exercises with allies. One of the standout elements of the Antonio Luna is its radar and sensor suite, which is where modern warships differentiate themselves most clearly. This ship carries a sophisticated 3D radar system capable of tracking multiple aerial and surface threats simultaneously, giving the crew a full situational awareness of the battle space. Add to this an array of electronic warfare systems and sonar, and the ship is equipped to detect submarines, aircraft, and hostile missiles long before they pose a threat. For the everyday viewer, you can think of this as the ship having a mix of eyes and ears, that never blink, day or night, constantly scanning the horizon and beneath the waves to keep the crew safe and informed. Of course, sensors are only as good as the weapons they guide, and the Antonio Luna is no slouch in this regard. At the heart of its armament is a 76mm OTO Malara Super Rapid Gun, a staple of many modern navies for its accuracy and versatility against air, surface, and even limited missile threats. This is backed up by anti-ship missiles housed in canisters, typically the South Korean SSM-700 KC Star, which can strike enemy vessels beyond visual range with high precision. The ship is also armed with torpedoes designed to counter submarines and a phalanx close-in weapon system, which is essentially a last-ditch machine. Gun turret that fires at incoming missiles or aircraft at breathtaking speeds to neutralize them before impact. For more casual observers, this weapon is often described as the R2-D2 of warships, because of its dome-like appearance and rapid-fire capability, acting as the ship's bodyguard when all else fails. The BRP Antonio Luna is also designed with modularity in mind. This means its systems can be upgraded over time as new technologies become available. For instance, while its vertical launch system for advanced missiles was not installed at the time of its commissioning, the ship is built with space and provisions for such upgrades in the future. This future-proofing is a critical feature because naval warfare is constantly evolving, and a ship that can adapt ensures longevity of service without requiring a completely new vessel. In terms of design, the ship emphasizes stealth. Its clean lines, angular surfaces, and reduced radar cross-section make it more difficult for enemy radars to detect. This doesn't make the ship invisible, but it does provide a valuable edge by delaying detection and targeting by adversaries.
Additionally, the layout of the ship prioritizes automation and crew efficiency. With a complement of just over 100 officers and sailors, the Antonio Luna operates with far fewer personnel than older ships of similar size, which reduces operating costs while maintaining high effectiveness. One of the less talked about but equally important aspects of the Antonio Luna is its role in humanitarian and disaster relief missions. The Philippines is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world, and naval assets are often first responders in times of typhoons, earthquakes, and other emergencies. The ship's design allows it to carry supplies, deploy small boats, and provide critical support in such situations, proving that warships today are as much about protecting people in peacetime as they are about preparing for combat. Another unique selling point of the Antonio Luna is the symbolism attached to its name. Antonio Luna, a hero of Philippine history, was not just a military leader but also a visionary in science and tactics. Naming this advanced warship after him ties the vessel to a legacy of both intellect and courage, projecting national pride every time the ship sails into international waters. For the Philippines, the arrival of the Antonio Luna represents a leap forward. This is a navy that until recently was largely focused on coastal defense with outdated ships, many of them hand-me-downs from allies. Now, with ships like the Antonio Luna, the Philippines is able to participate more fully in multinational exercises, contribute to regional security, and stand firm in its territorial claims. While it might not match the might of a U.S. Arleigh Burke-class destroyer or a Chinese Type 052D, within its class and mission profile it is highly capable and perfectly suited for the needs of the country. In layman's terms, the BRP Antonio Luna is like a highly skilled middleweight fighter, fast, tough, and equipped with a smart mix of offensive and defensive tools. It's not the heavyweight champion of the naval world, but in the regional arena it's more than a match for potential challengers. Its combination of endurance, stealth, firepower, and modern sensors makes it a formidable deterrent, and its adaptability ensures it will remain relevant for years to come. Ultimately, what makes the Antonio Luna impressive is not just the technical specifications, but the broader story it represents. It reflects a navy stepping confidently into the modern age, a country investing in self-reliance and security, and a vessel that can protect sovereignty while also lending a hand in times of peace. For casual viewers, it's a reminder that warships are not just floating weapons, they're national ambassadors, protectors of trade, and lifelines in crisis. For enthusiasts and analysts, it's a case study in how a smaller nation can balance cost, technology, and strategic necessity to produce a warship that punches well above its weight.